Hello, today I'm going to tell you how to grow coriander, one of my all-time favourite herbs. I just love that smoky, spicy flavour, torn up perhaps on a salad or into a stir-fry used as a garnish. It's an incredibly versatile herb, we used loads of it. That means, of course, I have to grow loads of it as well, and luckily it's dead easy. Lots of people think of coriander as just a summer herb, and it is true that it's frost tender, but in fact you can grow it all year round. I start my first sowings in February, and every single month thereafter, sow another pot, keeps me going all the year. Last sowing in about September, again move it back into the greenhouse, keep it frost free, and you can carry on picking it all the way through winter. The reason I grow it in pots is pretty straightforward. First of all, you can move it in and out of the greenhouse so you can make sure that you keep it frost free. Secondly, it's really easy to keep it away from the slugs. And if you sow in pots, it's really easy to keep a supply going all year round. All you have to do is have one pot just sown, one pot growing, and one pot you're picking. So this pot here you'll see is just um, about halfway to picking size. So it's about time that I sowed another pot. Now, here you'll see I've got a trough just filled up with bog standard multi-purpose compost, good quality obviously. Now what I'm going to do first of all is water it. Always sow coriander into damp compost. The damper you can keep coriander, the less likely it is to bolt. Now of course, bolting coriander isn't such a problem as it is with most salad vegetables but because of course the seeds you can also use as flavouring but it is a good idea to keep it as leafy as possible for as long as possible. Coriander is ever so easy to sow. You don't have to worry about sowing in rows or anything like that. Just sprinkle it over the top. The golden rule is always to sow where it grows. Don't try sowing them in modules and transplanting them or anything like that because the first thing that they'll do is bolt. I really hate it. You can sow them quite densely because if you're going to cut them for things like salad leaves then they need to be growing quite close together. So once you've sown them as you want them, just sprinkle some more compost on the top just so that it covers the seeds and then finally don't forget to label with the variety and also the date so that you know when you sowed it so that you can sow another one next month. Should be up in about three weeks or so.